Scotland is, is unique as a training area because it was where the commandos originated. You know, the first training was up in you know, at, at Macquarie, Cairngorms of Scotland, uh, and even when, when Norway got taken in the Second World War. So when the Norwegians that managed to escape came over and we actually trained them to then be reinserted back into Norway to carry out their, their job as, as resistance operatives. We're here to achieve two things. One, to ensure we're prepared enough for the rigours of the Arctic. And secondly, to enhance our capability in the mountains. Military mountaineering, there's, there's a bit more to it than, than normal mountaineering. We deploy in the, in the dark hours by helicopter deep into the mountains. We then have to move across really, really rugged terrain, uh, perhaps crossing swollen rivers, uh, cliff faces, ridges, and this is all done tactically at night in, in bad weather. Hence why we train at this time of year. Uh, there's no other place like it in, in the world. If you don't like the cold, wet, uh, windy uh, kind of environment, you know, it's, it's probably not your job. So for me, I've always been interested in the military. Uh, and the Corps gave me that opportunity uh, to do something enjoy in my personal life, which is mountaineering, rock climbing. We are trying to get a company of men ready and, and prepared for, for Norway. We're using the, the harshness uh, of the environment you get here in Scotland. It's very wet, windy, cold. Our levels of training are, are, are such that we've had all sorts of uh, special operation groups come to us for the training. So anywhere from the, the Middle East to the, the Baltics, the High North, uh, and over the water in America. And we've currently got some Americans here training with us. I'm a member of the uh, 10th Special Forces Group. We are currently here um, training with Royal Marines. And the idea behind our training is to improve our skills. Uh, we've experienced four seasons throughout our time here in Scotland and uh, the mountain level one and two instructors that we have providing the instruction are exceptionally well versed in these mountain skills. We've definitely learned a lot from them and I'm very appreciative of all the uh, sort of warm welcome and also invaluable insights that our uh, partners have and are able to provide us with a, a better perspective uh, not only just training but culturally as well. If you ask me if the troops undergoing training are enjoying it, I would say probably no because it's so hard, so extreme, but they definitely reap the benefits once they're finished. After it they are going to feel a real sense of achievement and certainly when they get into the Arctic they'll feel far more ready 